Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So after analyzing CSIR net question paper from the past few years, it is very evident that CSIR has started changing the way how they used to ask questions and the way how the questions used to come in CSIR. So the question are now a little bit more in the updated form and it is high time that we should change our strategy for CSIR net exam. So that's why I'm making this video after analyzing previous few exams and certainly the last one which was CSIR June 2025 exam. So I come up with certain points which I wanted to share especially for those who are starting their preparation, okay, who, those who are entirely beginners. Now, if you are someone who is in masters, you can consider yourself a beginner. If you are someone who has taken a gap after your masters and who is not in studies. So this video is entirely for those who have not given CSR or who have not sincerely prepared for it, okay. So consider yourself a beginner for this particular video. Also, one point which I want to mention over here that if you are in masters, try to qualify CSIR within your masters itself. Okay, don't try to take extra gap or extra time after finishing your or don't think that after once I will finish my masters, then I will prepare for CSIR and then I will clear it up. It is just going to take another year of your career, okay, of your academic career. So try to finish, try to clear, try to qualify within your masters itself and it is possible, okay. A lot many students do that, especially if you see students from IITs and uh, like uh, good universities, they don't even go for coachings and all by their own syllabus, they are able to qualify it. Uh, I can understand uh, like from tier 2, tier 3 universities and colleges, it is difficult. But now you have enough content on YouTube, you have enough content online. And uh, I think there is uh, like the, the gap between the information and student that has been narrowed down. So it is possible now. Okay. Now let's come back to the topic which I was talking about. So uh, there are few things which I want to share if you are complete beginner and want to start your preparation. Let's talk about that. Okay. One thing which I noticed and which I have been talking about in the past exam also that now just two of them is not going to be sufficient. Organic, inorganic, physical. Uh, earlier it used to be like if you just study two of them properly and if you just hover around some topics of the third one, you, you should be good enough to qualify or you should be good enough to attempt like 140, 150 marks of exam. But now that has been changing, okay. And now it is high time that you should include all three. It is very important to study all the three of them, not entire syllabus. You don't have to cover each and everything from every, all these three. You can skip few topics if you want, but you have to study all three. You cannot entirely ignore organic chemistry or entirely ignore physical chemistry. That is not going to help now, okay. And if you know that what is your weak zone, work upon that. Nobody is going to push for you, okay. And you have to work you out yourself. There are people who have been doing it and you, at, you are at a certain age where you don't need someone to, you know, push to do something for, uh, for you. You are mature enough, you are like grown up enough to understand what are your weak zones and what are the things you need to do. If you need any personal help in that case, you can contact me on my Instagram. I will try to reply over there. But uh, the overall thing is that you have to focus on all three. You cannot just rely on any two of them uh, for your preparation. That is the major intake from analysis of previous few CSI net exam. The next thing is to try to make a realistic target. Now you have to analyze that at what level you are. There could be possible that you have already studied few topics and you just need little bit more push. In that case, you can just consider the next exam, which is like three, four months after uh, like after three, four months. So you can consider that as your target. But if you are very new to the subject or if you know, you think that your concepts are very weak, you need to build up your concepts. In that case, make a realistic target of one year uh, instead of giving or instead of making CSIR December as your target, make CSIR June 2026 as your target, give enough time to your preparation, build up your concepts and then uh, look for that exam. Okay. And realistic targets are not only going to affect your preparation, but also like it is going to give you unnecessary guilt. When you will attempt the next exam, you will feel like you are not able to give that or you are not able to qualify that. So instead of that, give yourself a realistic target, give yourself enough time to prepare. Okay. And having said that, you have to cover or you have to understand the concepts. 
Now, concept building is very important. This has been already and always important. Okay. Remember that the exam is not becoming entirely difficult. Okay. It's just the competition which is increasing. And because of that, if the exam is easy, then the cutoff is high. And if the exam is difficult, then the cutoff is also not, not that low because of the competition. Because everybody has access of, for the information. Everybody has access to the content which is available on YouTube and all these online platforms. Thanks to all the educators, thanks to all the people who are making content for CSRnet. So yeah, you have enough content now. So considering that, you have to con like you have to cover your basics first of all. You have to complete your concepts, especially on those topics which you think that you are comfortable with. For example, if you think that you are good with inorganic and physical chemistry, your concept should be so strong that if the question is asked, you should be able to answer those questions. Okay, and that's where question practice also comes in. So Earlier, we used to say that you read books and study concepts and then practice question. Now that has to be more rigorous. You have to solve more and more question and not only just previous years. So you have to start with previous years. Of course, that is the epitome or you, you have the question bank, which is already available from CSIR. You have all the questions from previous years, but because the way how CSIR is asking question, that is changing so that's why you have to now practice new questions as well you have to find out new questions we try to provide it in our test series uh, there are i'm sure there are other platforms also which are trying to provide that so try to come up with new questions on a certain topic and try to uh, like train your mind to solve such questions so that when it comes in exam you should not panic about it okay and next thing is that when you go for exam, when you sit in exam, you should not get panic about the things that let's say there is a question from a certain topic which you have not studied. Don't panic about it. Go to the next question. Okay, there are enough questions. There are enough options in exam. It starts with panicking in the exam. Okay, a lot of students feel demotivated from few questions and that affects in the question which they will also know the answer of. There are certain questions which are very easy, which are asked, but just because they are, they have panicked in the previous few question, they are not able to solve the easy ones as well. So I'll be talking about this in more detail when I'll be talking about those who are repeating this exam or those who are repeaters, I'll be making a separate video for them. But here I wanted to, uh, uh, like I wanted to inform, especially to those who are beginning their preparation, who are complete beginners that you have to cover your all the three organic inorganic and physical don't look upon the previous uh, you know strategies and all that just prepare to that is not going to work now so prepare all the three build up your concepts your concept building is very important you have to give enough time you have to be rigorous you have to be serious about your preparation and from where to study see if you are good with book reading if you like or if you are able to do book reading then go for book reading if you are not go for notes uh, look for notes look for videos wherever it is okay you, the main thing is to cover the topic to understand the topic okay from where you are understanding that's that's the second thing so once you understand let's say if you want to go for coordination chemistry once you understand about orbitals once you understand about molecular orbital theory then when you go to book you will dig into more detailed concept like how symmetry is applied in molecular orbital theory then you will be able to relate the things but if you will not have any idea about molecular orbitals and you will directly go to book and start reading you will get bored of it okay so start with videos start with uh, like notes uh, like we also uh, are offering our own course which is right now running on our app as well as on our website uh, these are epsilon batch and this time we are providing batch in two ways one is normal epsilon batch in which we are providing all the lectures of physical chemistry along with that we provide mock test for questions related to uh, physical chemistry and then we also have a uh, silent prime batch in this batch we are providing not only questions uh, not only videos not only mock tests but we are also providing test series for csir as well as gate so if you are preparing for csir as well as gate exam if that is your target then epsilon prime batch is the one which i would recommend but if you are just looking for videos if you are just looking for lectures if you are just looking for concert building then you can go for normal epsilon batch so the links are there in the description of this video you can reach out uh, you can click on those link and you can purchase the courses if you have any other question you can ask me in the comment section below i'll try to answer you over there but yeah that's it from my side for this particular video i'll be making another video where i'll be talking about uh, like how it is going to be important or how a repeater someone who has already given exam how they can improve or how they can prepare or what strategy they can utilize for the upcoming csnet exam all right so that's it if you have any queries do let me know i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care